56 hours to 1586. Starts good, it runs good. The TA seems okay. Pretty darn decent in the cab. It does have 1,000 PTO with dual hydraulics. The tires on this rascal are about, I'm gonna call them 85, 80%, somewhere in there, 75, 80%. And they're uh, 520, 85, 38s or 20.8, 38s. It does have hubs, but does not have any duals. But like I say, it does have excellent rubber. Got a little rest below this door on the right hand side. She does have kind of normal blow by for international. Painted around on that right hand side door. It's been painted around on some. The gentleman traded it and said that it will use some oil under a hard pull, guys. So we're up front about this stuff as much as it can be. And uh, that's the only thing I know about it, but it does seem to have good compression because it starts good. But he says under a hard pull, it'll use, use a little oil heat training for a front wheel assist tractor. We could use an upper cab interior. It does have an extremely nice replacement seat in it. I don't know that the hours are correct. I don't know that the gauge is counting. It shows 60 some hundred hours. We'll have a picture of that. But I'm not going to tell you those are actual because I, I don't know that we knew this tractor in total life. But three point PTO seemed to work good. And it does seem to shift out okay. There's a few little pieces in the cab, like it's missing that little shield there. So I might probably put a key switch in and put that piece back on. Uh, this plastic piece is cracked right here where the shifter is. And you can see they got the power of that. But it's just a. Uh, it's an older tractor. Uh, I'm sure it's still got a place in the world. Uh, but buy cheese a little, guys.